Army claims Algeria hostage planner dead in Mali. Windows Internet Explorer window. Focus on button. Has been looking at the options. Drew is joining us from Accra in Ghana at the moment. Drew, Mokhtar, Bel Mokhtar, I mean, he's been around for some time. He's a breakaway group from Al Qaeda, but he's pretty much the man everybody wants at the moment. Right. It's important to note that he is not the leader of Al Qaeda in the Islamic Maghrib, and he is not even necessarily the, uh, the most dangerous guy out there, but he is the most elusive. He is seen as the moneymaker for this group because he was involved in cocaine smuggling, allegedly, and uh, he was sort of engineered the biggest kidnappings. So in a way, he is sort of a symbol of uh, everything that France is. He's a symbol of the challenge France faces here as it chases, you know, single individuals in the world's largest desert. I mean, it does sound as if uh, apparently he raised as much as, what, $50 million over the, you know, over the last few years, basically through this kidnapping and taking his, his cut out of the cocaine deals. But, um, okay, at the moment, the French have largely been using, you know, U.S. equipment, U.S. drones and things like that in, in their search for uh, Bel Mokhtar, but they haven't particularly been successful. Right. Well, the French, have their, the French have their own fleet of about six drones, and they are circling a space. I mean, northern Mali, that's the size of France. This uh, region where they've, uh, this mountainous region where they believe these guys have retreated to, the Adjardis Iforas, that's the size of the United Kingdom. And the entire operational area of these guys is about a million square kilometers larger than India. So you have six drones uh, trying to kind of find a needle in a vast haystack here. And, uh, yeah, I think that France is looking for whatever help it can get in that process, uh, particularly not just from the U.S., but also from um, local partners like the, the Tuareg who live in that area. I mean, what about the U.S.? I mean, the CIA has been, you know, after this guy since early 1990s. Um, I mean, are they, is there any sign that the U.S. is prepared to take a slightly more active role in this? I mean, there is talk here that, you know, the French certainly would need to put troops on the ground if they're going to succeed in this hunt. Right. Well, the U.S. military would like to...